Hi everyone, I'm Hope and this is my booktube! For my first video, I was thinking about some different stuff I should do and I didn't just want to do one of those boring like, hi, um, this is my booktube, uh, that's it, bye things. I wanted to, you know, tell you kind of who I am as a reader and um, what my favorite books are and all that. So, um, I'm going to. So I'm going to start off with my favorite series of all time and that would be the Harry Potter series by JK Rowling and I am showing you the fourth book Goblet of Fire because this is my favorite out of the series. Other than that I couldn't really put the books in order. I just I <laughs> I love this book. Um, yeah I, I haven't read this series for like four years but I'm rereading it this summer and I can't wait because Harry Potter, like this is the best world in my opinion that an author has created. It's so imaginative and amazing and JK Rowling is, oh, JK Rowling, I love her. I need to read more of her other books. I, Harry Potter. Um, my second favorite series would be Divergent by Veronica Roth. And I'm not showing you this one because it's my favorite out of the series. I don't really have a favorite out of the series. I, I just love this series. Um, yeah, warning. If you read the series, the third book will most likely make you cry. And then if you read four after, that will make you cry because of the third book. So you're gonna cry, but you're gonna like it. Um, third favorite series, Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. And I'm rereading it right now because I, feel like it. Um, I finished this series like probably um, seventh or eighth grade, so like three years ago, three, three or four years ago, something like that. Um, yeah, <laughs> the Divergent series I finished, uh, I want to say like eight months ago. So yeah, it was, it's been a while, but <sighs> wow. Um, okay. So yeah, I don't have many other like series that I read that I've read that I've really loved. Um, I have ones that I've liked, but not any like really notable, like top five-ish, I mean, maybe, I don't know. Um, so yeah, then some of my favorite books overall would definitely be, oh wow, surprise, surprise, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Um, I feel like almost everyone loves this book or at least likes it. Um, you know, there are a few who don't, but you know, I loved it. Um, it's weird because the first time I read this, like I was sad at the end, but I didn't cry. And then the second time I read it, I started bawling at the end. I I don't really know why. <laughs> Maybe I've just grown like a new fondness for Hazel and Augustus over time. I don't know. It's such a good book and you might cry. You're probably gonna be sad. Um, I love John Green's writing. It's so witty and fresh. Another one of my favorite books overall would definitely be Life of Pi by Jan Martel. This book is so deep and symbolic and we read this in English class this year and we were supposed to read like two or three chapters a night but I ended up finishing this in like five days because it was so good and there's like it's kind of a big book but not not really like it's 400 pages but this is a smaller book so I don't know it's wow it's so symbolic and it just makes you feel really peaceful especially if you really get the overall message like there are times when I had to spark notes and stuff because I was like oh my god wait is this really symbolic of what I think it's symbolic of and you know but I think it's really overall how you interpret it and um yeah it's great um, another one of my favorite books is a classic, and it is The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. The main character, Holden Caulfield, is rejected by society in many different ways, and it's a sad book. Um, not like sad, like crying sad, but like, I don't know, it's sad to read about how sad this kid is in this book, because he's very sad. As I've said, so yeah. Um, some of my favorite authors that um, I just love their writing and their stories would definitely be J.K. Rowling, 
Veronica Roth, Jan Marta, Khalid Hosini. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. I really hope so. I have read two books by him and Mountains Echoed and um, The Kite Runner. And he writes about Middle Eastern society and Middle Eastern culture. And the kind of stories that he writes like about Middle Eastern culture, like American culture just so different from Middle Eastern culture, obviously, but you really understand how different they are in these books. And I, wow, very eye-opening. Um, yeah, so now I'm just going to go into some series that I've started and I haven't finished, but I need to finish. We read Pyramid by Rick Riordan and I've only read the first book in this series, but this book was so good. And um, yeah, actually the series is called The Cain Chronicles and it's about Egyptian mythology and I have a fetish for Egyptian mythology. Like I love it so much. And this is the book that kind of got me into it. Egyptian mythology and I, I love it. It's about two siblings who realize that they're descendants of these Egyptian gods and it's oh it's so awesome. Um, yeah and then there are others I don't think I have the books to show you but definitely the Lord of the Rings series because I read The Hobbit this month and I really like The Hobbit so I'm hoping that I'm going to like the rest of the series too. I know that The Hobbit was just a prelude to the main three, to the three main books in the series, but uh, that's fine. But I'm hoping that they will be um, just as good or better than The Hobbit. <sighs> what other series? Oh, um, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I read that book. I really enjoyed that book. I think I, got, I gave it four or 4.5 stars on Goodreads. And I really want to read Hollow City. I know that's the second book. I don't know if there's going to be a third book, but I hope so because that series rock. Yeah, and that series is just about a bunch of paranormal um, fantasy stuff. And it looks kind of like a scary, spooky book, but it's not. Like, it's really more science fiction. And I love that. It was, oh, it was so cool. Another series that I need to finish. Oh, okay, well, I'm drawing a blank. Now for some series that I definitely want to finish this year. Number one on my list would definitely be Game of Thrones. I own two of those books. Look at how intimidating these are. Like these just, wow, okay, it's a little scary. But um, I have heard so many good things that I really want to read them. And plus, I'm not allowing myself to start watching the TV series until I read these books. Another series, I guess you could call it a series, would be the Sherlock Holmes books. Oh god, please don't fall over books. Uh, okay. I've watched all the seasons that are on Netflix and... I love Benedict Cumberbatch. He's like, oh, I just love him. He's so witty and funny and, oh God, I, I love him. I'm hoping that these books will make me laugh and cry and make me as frustrated as the Sherlock Holmes series, TV series did. <sighs> Other series. Oh, um... The Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Moss. I have the first book, Throne of Glass, and I have not read it. And I need to because everyone talks about how awesome it is. And I know it's about a female assassin. And like, oh my god, like that is so cool. So yeah, um, yeah, other than that, uh, I think that those are like my top series for this year. Individual books I definitely want to read this year would be Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I'm really, really mad at myself for not reading any Jane Austen books yet. And I definitely want this one to be my first one because I know it's one of her most renowned works. So another book that I definitely want to read this year would be To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. I know that this book is about, um, I think, a slave on a southern plantation farm. I think that's 
what it's about. Uh, I hope I got that right. I know that it's obviously a classic, and um, I've heard, like, I have not heard any bad things about this book, and I know it's full of insight, and it's supposed to be an eye-opener, and I really like eye-openers because they really dispel ignorance in a way, and they're very, very important books. So thank you so much for watching this. I hope you have a great day and week, and I hope you get all of the books read that you want to read this week. <laughs> Bye!